uh, the Fed has been extremely consistent um, in their view on inflationary pressures and the need to watch the data. And there's nothing in the data that we've seen over the last three months that uh, suggests that these periodic bouts of optimism that we get in stock markets expecting that pivot, there's nothing to suggest that that's anywhere on the horizon. So expect more of the same. Um, obviously, the rate of uh, increases, the size of those increases, probably going to slow over the next couple of months. But as he's been pointing out, it therefore means that rates could remain higher for longer uh, and a complete reversal of what we were used to expect in the good old days of lower for longer. So now we've got a reversal of that. Right. The Fed's still insisting on keeping inflation under control, and that is their number one objective. Yes. Steve, uh, we're almost at the end of the year, so can you give us a sense of uh, client returns uh, year to date versus the benchmarks at Javelin and what strategies are really going to squeeze out a return uh, during these uh, challenging market conditions in 23? Well, it's been a tough year, so obviously portfolios are down. Um, they've done slightly better than overall uh, markets, but nonetheless they are down and it's been a year in which all of those typical traditional safe havens have not worked. So the typical 60-40 uh, equity bond portfolio has performed fairly miserably this year, slightly better than overall equity markets, but nonetheless, we haven't been able to get those protections. So where are we looking to try and eke out little gains? Well, obviously, alternative spaces, which are uncorrelated, um, have done quite a bit better than overall markets. Um, and obviously, at the moment, uh, like a lot of people, we're sitting on much more cash than we would normally do at any point and have done at any point since the 2008-09 uh, financial crisis.